My heart was probably beating, you know, out of my body for sure. Uh, we were playing Detroit in Detroit, an old famous stadium which everybody loved to play in. It was tremendous. And I faced uh, Jack Billingham, uh, old Cincinnati Red pitcher, pitched, started pitching with Detroit. And uh, I walked my first time up, and then the second time up, I got a hit. So. So it was actually a pretty good day for me. So your first hit was against Jack Billingham? Jack Billingham. What about the first home run? First home run, this, uh, my rookie year, I was still 20, just turning 21. It was off Goose Gossage in Yankee Stadium. Yeah, I mean, that was that was a big thrill. He was, he was closing the game, and I think I tied up the game. So you were with the Jays in the lean years, in the first few years there, but the team got pretty good pretty quickly, starting in about 82. Yes. What was it like being part of that ride to success? Well, it was great. But, you know, Bobby Cox gave me a chance to play every day, uh, trading John so I could play. And we got Bell, Barfield, and Mosby, uh, young guys, and Ernie and Garth and Rance, and we just kind of played pretty good that year. And uh, I think I led the club in home runs and RBIs that year, hit 275. And, uh, Drove in 75, hit 21, hit my first 20 home run year. And uh, from there, we knew that, hey, now we're going to get better. Yeah, it was great. You, uh, I think you started as an outfielder and then switched right. to first base? Well, I came up in the minor leagues with the Yankees playing both positions. I took my 100 ground balls every day, took my 100 fly balls every day. And uh, I was really more suited for first base and... Uh, you know, arm strength and whatnot, and I like being close to the action. So when they came along, it was kind of a natural fit for me. Did Mayberry teach you some uh, tricks around first base? How did you learn uh, to play around the bag? Well, in those days, I mean, you, you got your ground balls, and you, you had an instructor work with you. Jimmy Williams was great. Billy, Billy Smith was great with me. And then, you know, with John, it was just, hey, watch, 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 and learn. And, and I learned the nuances of first base. Um, some players don't like to uh, give up their position to a young guy. Did you find that, uh, were you worried maybe that some of the veteran guys didn't want to give you any of their secrets or anything like that? Well, John was really good. I mean, Tommy Hutton was good. Tommy was a great guy, you know, so... It was, it was good. I mean, they were playing and I was just learning, so... I'd ask a question, they gave me the right answer. Toughest pitcher you ever had to face? Oh God. You know, really guys who threw slow gave me more trouble. I don't think I could ever hit John Tudor. I just couldn't pick up the ball off of him. Uh, he pitched at a great angle when he was in Boston and you know, he got better when he went to St. Louis. Did you find the lefty-lefty matchups really challenged you? Uh, because a lot of guys, it was a platoon system, you know, oh, we got a lefty, we got a lefty thrower, we're going to put a right-handed bat in there. How did you, how did you adjust to that? How did you make your manager put you in the lineup well, against tough lefties? I mentally told myself as a young player that the lefty is going to hit me or I'm going to hit him, but I'm not moving off the ball. Once I learned not to move off the ball, I did really pretty well against left-hand pitching. And I wanted to play every day, so you get, you better you know, mentally learn, so physically you can learn. Greatest moment as a Blue Jay, what was it? 85, come on. Winning the pennant in 85, wow, what a year we had. Any particular game or moment during no, that season? We, we well, we lost, we lost uh, the game on Friday night that we should have won to win the pennant. We lost it, we didn't get any sleep. We came back and beat the Yankees like seven and three on on Saturday, and Lloyd and I hit back-to-back -back homers, and uh, it was a great thrill, our first pennant. And that catch by George in left field, and <laughs> no one will ever forget that. Yeah, Doyle hit, uh, I think he got 15 fly ball outs that day. Mm -hmm. So it, it was a great day.